Good afternoon, everyone. This is Cindy, and I am here to work on a new video. I'm going to try something. I don't know if it's going to work or not. Um, I, I don't know. Um, I am going to try to use a regular envelope, like so, and let me move y'all out a little bit. Okay, there you go. I'm going to use a regular envelope and a punch and some acetate and some pictures and see if I cannot create a um, uh, envelope with a window. The ones that are mailers that already have the window in them, I don't like them because you either have to you have to do something around that window and I haven't found a way that I liked yet um, I don't like the way they look so um, let me get this I'm gonna get y'all fixed in a minute okay I've got you um, I'm gonna see what happens I don't know but we're gonna find out so, I turned on the camera in case it's a huge success. Um, if it's not, um, you might not ever see it. <laughs> but um, I do want to show you this. Um, I am getting to the point with my um, design team project with Angela where I can start working in the journal. And I am really excited. I had, I've got a big package coming from her, and I had so hoped that it would be here today, but, you know, coming all the way from the UK, you just never know, and um, it didn't arrive, so I'm sad, but um, life goes on. <laughs> okay, here is my journal that I'm going to be working on. Um, I've got... Um, I've got, I, I did have just one signature in, and I was going to put something down the front, oh, down the front here, and um, so I put this, but I decided against it, so it doesn't matter, and then this is the signature, the first signature I sewed in, and I sewed it in yesterday, so we've got one and two, and um, the fabric that I used, um, Oh, I think it was a, um, if I'm not mistaken, it was a placemat, a designer placemat that I got at a thrift shop. So anyway, here's the starting of my journal, and um, I'm working on this a little bit. I haven't, um, I haven't finished it, um, but um, I've got some page, I got this first signature in. And um, I put these flowers down. I thought those were real pretty. They're going to be in between each signature. And um, this is the first one. And I'm still working. And um, this is the first one. And then this is the um, second one. And I've got it down here. And I've been working on this page. And I think it turned out real pretty. Um, this is some of Angela's... Um, um, ledger papers that she has she has a kit with ledger papers in it and they're beautiful and then this is um, one of her fussy cut flowers um, from her fussy cut flower kit yeah and um, so anyway it's coming along nicely and um, I guess there's no use procrastinating let's see what we're gonna be able to do here um, I went ahead and punched this out because I have to stand up and really put a lot of pressure behind it. So y'all are going to have to just, um, just kind of humor me here because I really have no idea what I'm doing. I just got brave and turned on the camera. So let me get my ruler right here and I can tell you the size of this envelope. 
I have a lot of these envelopes and I really like them. And I wanted to, I wanted a window in it. So here we go. Okay, this measures um, five and three fourths by four and a half. So that's a really nice size to have in, have in a journal. And what I want to do is I want to put it, I like this square here, and I want to put it, what I want to do, what I'm hoping I'm going to be able to do, is I want to um, take a page and either put it like this for a flip or like this for a flip. I'm not sure. It's just going to depend where it goes. Okay, I guess I've procrastinated long enough, so let's um, let's see what I'm going to do here. Okay, I have my envelope. Hope I've got everything. Yeah, I do. I have my envelope with the punch, and I used my round large punch and my oval large punch have bit the dust. And I'm going to have to buy another one, I guess. I just hate to spend money on them because they're expensive. This one measures mm, about, well, it almost measures like two and three-fourths. So, uh, yeah, two and three-fourths. So, um, that's a nice size punch. And then I think, my, uh, I think my round one was like three inches or something. So, anyway, this is a nice, a nice it's nice. <laughs> okay, I gotta think here. And sometimes I'm not very good at thinking. Okay, I am gonna have to uh, put, okay, I told y'all I, I don't know what I'm doing. So, okay, this is my envelope. And this, I guess I could go ahead, let me go ahead and get this on. Maybe this will help me um, with the process a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this up. And I'm going to get a pencil. And I'm going to mark across the back. Keep that straight and across the front. Oh, somebody yesterday in my comments said that they could not hear me, that I needed to speak up. I have a very loud voice, so I've been trying to tone it down. So I'm going to speak up, and if I blast y'all out, let me know. Um, I guess the majority wins. Do you want me to talk louder? Am I okay? You want me to talk softer? Let me know. Okay. Here we go. So, I think um, I'm going to put this in my cutter because we want it to be very precise and my cutting is not precise. However, look what I found. These are are my grandmothers, or were my grandmothers. These things are huge. Do y'all remember the movie Play Misty for me? Well, that kind of reminds me of these scissors. But they cut wonderful, and they're Weiss, Weiss, W-I-S-S, -S, made in um, Finland. These things are over 100 years old, because my grandmama has been gone forever. And they cut like a dream. So, yeah, they're great. Okay, here we go. I am going to line this up, cut right there. Then I'm going to turn it around and line it up again. And I'm going to cut right there. And then, oh, Lordy, I'm kind of nervous. Oh. Kind of nervous about this. Of course, it's just paper. As Cheryl uh, Telephus, Telephus says, it's just paper, and that's true. Okay, so here we go. 
See, this is the part I don't like on the envelopes with the windows, because you can't get this. You you gotta you gotta camouflage around it, and I don't like that. Okay, I think the very first thing I am going to do is I'm gonna glue this down. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. And you know what, ladies, if this works. Oh, am I going to be excited? Now, just watch real closely because if it works, you're going to want to do it too. If it doesn't work, well, what can I say? But what I did, I went through Angela's papers that I was using um, in one of my signatures, and I picked this out because I thought it would be really, really cute. Y'all just wait. You're gonna, You're just really going to love this. Okay, let me get this centered here because we sure don't want anything showing around that. Okay, now I'm going to turn it over. Oh, me, I think it might work. Okay, there we go. There's the first part of it. Okay, now. Um... <laughs> um Let's see here. Okay, here is my acetate. And you know what this is? This is just, I just opened up a pack of flowers. Um, I had a pack of Prima flowers, and I just took this acetate off of it. Okay, that's all I did. And here I got my glassine bags out, too. I was thinking they would be, that, that would be really great to do also. But let's just concentrate on this because... I'm, oh lordy, okay, now, I've got to have a back on this for sure, so we're going to use that envelope for the back, but I think, um, okay, let's, let's cut this envelope, I think, okay, um, let's, um, cut this envelope. Um, now I got plenty more of these if I don't do it right. Let me see if I'm on the, am I in frame? Of course not. Okay, now, I think all I, all I want is this. So, why don't I take and just take off the most minute little sliver that I can. Okay, good. Okay, now let's do the other side. My pup's right down here beside me. He says, Mama, I'm going to help. Okay, now we're going to cut across the bottom. And I'm going to mark right here so I can see it and be sure I'm on that line. Okay, let me pull my cutter down. Okay, we're going to line that up. Okay. Oh, dear. Okay. All right, let's see here. So I think what I'm going to have to do is... Yes. Girls, I do believe it's going to work. Mm-mm-mm. Okay, now what I want to do is, I'm going to do this, I want to put this little bird right in the center of this, like right, oh my gosh, how cute is that? We'll put that bird right there. So, let's see here. Um, if, okay, so I'm going to have to cut again. And I like where he is. This is Angela's, um... 
This is Angela's Birds and Bees, birds and, bir the Birds and Bees kit. And look at all this paper I got out. I'm just, I'm just, I'm using up some old scrapbook paper. This is Bow Bunny. <laughs> and it just goes beautiful with um, Angela's um, kit. So I'm using that for some of the backgrounds. Okay, let's do this. Let's mark it here. And let's mark it there. Okay, so let's lay that aside again. Oh, um, maybe while I'm working on this, I'll fill you in just a little bit on my artful journey. I told you um, the last time I videoed about my um, my journey as a child. Um, I grew up in Georgia, south of Atlanta, and my grandmother lived down here in Florida. She lived in Tampa, and that's where I learned to stitch and all that kind of thing. Okay, then we'll fast forward, and um, I went to a Stampin' Up! party, and that changed my whole artful career. I, in case you're wondering, I'm just kind of resting a minute. I think this is working, and I'm just real excited. So I thought I'd talk to you a minute. I hope it's okay. Um, I went to a Stampin' Up! party, and I had just opened uh, my Etsy shop. And, um, well, let me back up a little bit from that. Uh, before I opened my Etsy shop, I was doing um, altered collage and that kind of thing and I actually had my work in um, a couple of galleries in uh, Boone, North Carolina and I had my work in an art gallery in Atlanta and um, yeah that's that's kind of what got me started then I went to a Stampin Up party and I thought, okay, I'm just going to buy some stamps. I wanted to make some thank you notes that went with my art. So um, I placed my order. And then we got, all us girls got back together again and played. Well, that changed my life. I got addicted to stamps. I owned probably thousands of stamps. I sold most of them. I don't still have all that many anymore. I don't. I use a few, but I don't use them like I used to. Um, and then um, I opened my Etsy shop. And what really got me into my very real artful journey is um, I found a lady that lived across town. If you know anything about Atlanta, she lived in Vinings. And that's a real upscale, upper class community. And um, this lady opened up this shop, and you, she, it was really a, it was a stamp shop, but it was also an art shop. She taught art lessons, and I went there, and I took lessons from her for, oh my goodness, a couple of years, maybe longer than that. And while I was working with her and learning from her, I actually had my first piece of artwork pu published in Somerset Studios. Um, yeah. What you did at that time, I don't know how it works now, but what you did at that time is you completed your piece, you gave them all the information, you mailed it in, and um, if they uh, used it, they held it and, um, you know, did professional photos of it, and it came out in the uh, magazine and then at some point you got your work back i have my work it's up there i can't get to it it's framed and it's hang on it's up on top of my cabinets in my art room but um anyway yeah the first piece i sent i was accepted and i was published um in the magazine i still have the magazine it's packed away and um that just really set me on fire. So um, then, I, then I started um, creating and uh, was in another gallery. 
and then we moved to Florida and um, I was in a gallery down here but I tell you being in galleries is hard hard work you have to um, you have to work a couple of days a month we had a um, a um, open house once a month and you had to take all kind of food and um, you had to pay the gallery 40% of what you sold. Yeah, it was, um, it, was, it was quite time consuming and I felt like that they were taking too much of my money. So I, I stopped and now I only sell on Etsy. And I have found that that's probably the best format to sell on. You don't have to, you know, people complain because um, you have to pay a lot of money for, um, they think you have to pay a lot of money in fees, but they've never had to pay the light bill and the electricity and this and that on a storefront and give 40% of your, of your uh, work your money to the galleries so um, I am quite happy with Etsy and now that I'm older I just feel like it's the way that I need to go and that's my journey I'm sure I left a lot out but that's the high points and um, yeah so um, okay now we got to get back to this bird um, I think, okay, what I have to do next is I have to put this acetate down. So, I am, I don't know if I want to double it. I don't know. Let me see. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and cut across the bottom where the, um, where it folds up. Get rid of that. And, um... Let's see here. Turn it over. And. Oh my goodness. This is just. You know ladies. I think this is going to work. And I am just going to be thrilled. Okay. Now I'm going to take and just kind of cut. Across. And this really is a piece of good acetate. It's um, not bad at all. Okay, and I think I'm going to go ahead and cut it into one sheet because I've got to glue it, and I don't want to have to glue, um, glue it together. Okay, so we've got it apart. I know you probably can't see it. Can you see the shiny? Okay, now um, it's a little wide, so I'm going to... Just cut. Okay. Now I'm going to place it right here. Oh my goodness. And we're going to put glue on it. Um, I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac. I hope that's the right choice. And um, let me get right here so you can see. I don't want you to miss any of this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. And we're going to come down here. This is going to be the edge of the... Um, Hard. I'm going to go around here. I'm going to get real close, but I'm not going to get on it. Okay, let's see. Where did it go? Um, well, I laid it down and I can't see it. Okay, here it is. Okay, I am going to just place that. Make sure I've got it in there. And I do. And I'm just going to lightly... I'm pushing it. Oh, I better move it. I'm pushing it um, to the outside so it doesn't go in my window. Okay. Oh my gosh. There it is. I can't believe it's working, ladies. I am so excited. Okay. Now we're going to take, look at that. Okay, can you see? Can you see it? <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, let's see. I'm going to turn it over. And I, hmm, let's see here. 
Let me make sure I'm doing it right. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I think, is I'm gonna I'm gonna run glue. Oh, let's see. Well, maybe I'll just run my glue around here. Okay, we've been successful so far. Let's try this. Well, I tell you what, this is going to be my um, way to go from now on. And you can also um, do um, glitter. Ooh, I hope I didn't get that too close to my bird. Okay. Now, let's see. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oops, my first mistake. <laughs> I got to put that glue. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I got to put the glue on this side. Okay. Okay. Let me, um, let me kind of wipe this off. That's a mistake, but it's fixable. I'm not, usually when I put the glue on the front side, that's the mistake. Let me get me a sip of lemonade here. I'm, Mm. We have beautiful weather down here in Florida. It's um, in the 80s, and we still have a breeze, and the humidity has not jumped on us yet. So, yeah, we're, um, we're doing good. Look at this, ladies. Look at this. I'm sorry. I get overly excited. Okay, now... Let me see if I've got this. I actually think I'm going to trim this just a bit. And I better use my cutter because we don't want to mess it up at this point. So I'm just going to take off just a little. Okay. Okay. Now, let me see. My acetate is all down nicely. It's stuck well. No mess. Nothing on my, um, on the oval. Okay, now we're going to take this. Okay, now I've got to very carefully go around this. I had to get up my courage to do this. I was going to do it earlier, and I thought, oh, Lord, maybe not today. <laughs> and I thought, yes, it's going to be today. Okay. Now. Okay. Let me see here. Oh, come on. Please be right. Okay, I think I can move it over a little bit more. <sighs> I've never tried anything like this before. I am very proud of myself. Okay, now we have got to let that dry. Look at there, ladies. I've done it. An envelope with a window with acetate that you don't have to collage around. Okay, now, um, let me get my bone folder here, and I am going to, um, press this all down. Now... I am going to take this. Let me make sure this is good and dry. And let me see how far up I need to come. Let's see. The light's a little bit. Okay. 
Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute here. Hmm. Is that going to work? That's going to be the envelope. Okay, let's see. That's going to be the envelope. That's, sorry, I pulled it to me. That's going to be the envelope. And that's going to be there. And if it's all glued in, it's going to slide in. And let me make sure it's not going to impede on my bird. Let's slide something in there. Um, how about this? Oh, no. Everything's good. Okay. Now, let's see. The next thing I need to do is I need to turn this over. And I need to run a pencil line down here. Okay. Now I'm going to cut that. Line this up. Cut it. Raise the flap up. Turn it over like that. And I'm going to put a line of glue all the way around the outside. Except for the top, which is here. Okay, now I'm going to run a thin line of glue. <clears throat> Whoops. Okay, here we go. A thin line of glue. I'm gonna do it slow so I can try to go straight. I don't I don't do it very straight, but I'm gonna try. Okay, we're gonna come along the bottom. Oops, I'm talking low. We're gonna come along the bottom and then we're gonna come down this side. And here we are. Let's see here. We're going to get ready to put, uh-oh, 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 did I mess up? Wait a minute. No, I didn't. Okay. Now, let me see how it looks. Okay, no envelope showing. Now, I'm going to take my bone folder, and I'm just going to do this. And I did it. <laughs> I did it, girls. Oh my gosh. I am just, I don't know what to say. Okay. There you go. And it was so simple. You know, I was going to do a, um, a um, what's it called? A uh, prototype. <laughs> And I thought, no, you know, I just want to do it. I don't want to, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. So it worked, and oh my goodness, am I going to go to town with this. Okay, I want to thank you ladies so very much for being on my channel with me and hanging out with me and enjoying new things with me and getting excited with me. And um, I just, um, yeah, I'm just thrilled. Now I gotta think about this. Um, there's a lot of things that you could do. We could decorate it. Um, but you know, it's just beautiful like it is and I don't know that I'm going to do anything but um, put it in my journal. So we have two options here. We can put it like this. Look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? Ah! Oh, and it'll be um, on the back side and it'll be a flip out. Put your whatever in here or 
we can put it like this, have a flip out, and when we put something on this page, we can put something that will complement the bird and the flowers. So, I want to, and I guess y'all know I've already added a couple of little, um, little um, laces and all. And eventually, this this is going to be in my Etsy shop. Um, I have the link below to Angela's site and my Etsy shop. So, um, if you want to take a peek over and look at what I've got. And then when it gets closer to time, if somebody's interested in it, I can take names. And um, when it's finished, I can notify you. And if you're still interested in it, then um, it'll be yours. So, I want to thank everybody, and um, I'll get this published, and um, we'll, be on our, we'll be on our journey to a next page. And I want to thank you so very much. Y'all have a wonderful, happy, and blessed day. Bye.